Good morning! In this video, I'm going to teach you how to put sheet music at the bottom of your video and how to get the cursor to scroll through it perfectly in time with what you're playing. This is going to be fast paced, so try to keep up. So I am using Final Cut Pro, but this should work in any video editing software. This is very basic features that we're dealing with. So first step is record yourself playing an epic solo. Done. Next step is to get a copy of the sheet music up on your device. Also done. Now you might be wondering why I'm learning Nick Arcee's solo from 2009. Well, I got an epic video coming out soon where I play a bunch of people's solo, so make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that liberty bell so you get notified and don't miss this one. It's gonna be amazing. So the first thing we're gonna do, and this is a real pro move right here, okay? We're gonna add a border to put the sheet music into at the bottom of the video. We're gonna come up to this guy here, click on solids, and we're gonna drag this one right down there. And then we're gonna come over here to this number two and change that color to white because the sheet music is white. Now obviously we don't want this covering the whole video, okay? So we're gonna go up to this tab and drag that Y axis down. Then take this and stretch it the whole length of the video. And you can see from this angle, it's cutting off my drum three a little bit. So I am going to drag that up. So I'm gonna click on my solo multicam clip and drag the Y axis up. Just a, just a little, just a little. It's important that when you record your solo that you leave extra space at the top and the bottom so that your head doesn't get cut off, okay? You wanna have a head. Next step, we are going to go back to our sheet music. Let's enlarge this as big as possible. And then we are going to screen grab every single line in the sheet music. So to do that, you do Command Shift 4. And then you can grab individual things. And we wanna keep this as tight as we possibly can. And then we got our picture right there, saved to the desktop. And we're gonna repeat that for every single line in the music. Okay, fantastic. I hope you guys are keeping up so far. Now I'm gonna open Finder here and go to Desktop. I'm gonna select all of these and just drag them into the timeline here. And this should go into the timeline in order of date created. So if you went from bar one through to the end, then they should be in the right order. Okay, so now we're gonna wanna put the sheet music down into the frame we created. So we'll start with the first one here. Drag that Y axis downwards. And there we go, easy. Now what I can do, instead of doing that for each one individually, I can just do Command C to copy that first one and select all of the rest of these. And then you do Option Command V to paste just the effects onto the rest of them. And they should all look pretty darn good. Put that first one to the beginning, stretch it out, and let's play it. Yeah, that was the end of the line right there. What, did you get lost? <laughs> Noob. And we can also reference the audio waves down here in the video to make sure we are exactly where we want to be. So this spike is going to be this rim shot, and then that note is the next rim shot, and then we got digga digga da da stop right here. Okay, then I'm going to make a cut right there and get rid of the end. However, any one of you who has actually sight read something should know that when you are playing through something, your eyeballs are looking ahead in the music, all right? You're not reading and playing each single note as they go by. So when my hands are up here playing these 32nd note and 24th note sweeps, my eyes are looking down here at this line, trying to figure out how the heck I'm gonna play a four-lit inside of a six-lit. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that one. So I think it's important that the video does that too. So we're gonna make the sheet music turn to the second line a little bit earlier than when it actually does in real life. So let's drag this back, maybe one second-ish. Okay, then we're gonna move our second line of music over. Woo! Yeah, that part was really hard. Okay, so I think a good place to turn the page there would be right before this rim shot. So let's look where the audio waves are. That's right there. We will make the cut right there. Yep, and then you just have to do that for every single line of music until you get to the end. Fantastic, we made it to the end. 
Now that's usually what I would do for all my videos. I would just have that line of music switching each time, but there is an extra step that you can choose to do. You can add a cursor that scrolls through the music, just like it does in music software. So here's how you add that in. Okay, so first of all, the thing I said with the music switching to the next line sooner, you're not gonna wanna do that for this, okay? Cause the scroller is gonna need to, you know, go through each note individually. So now we are going to add another custom color solid on top of all this. And then we're going to shrink this guy down to fit it inside the frame of the sheet music. Okay, and then we are going to adjust the X axis to make this rectangle be like the opposite way, like that. See what I'm doing? See what I'm doing there? Now we're going to set the opacity to 90. All right, that way you can see through it a little so it's not blocking the music. Then we're gonna adjust the X position to the first note. And also I like to make this cursor not black, I like to make it purple. All right, you can make it whatever color you want. I like purple. Okay, so now we're gonna do some epic keyframing, okay? This is some complicated stuff, pay attention. So first we're gonna set our scroller to the very first note using the wave file right there. And then we're going to make a keyframe for that note. So you go up to this tab, go down to the transform position and you just click this little plus sign. Okay, I'm just gonna drag this to end when that line of music ends, and then we're gonna go to where the end note is. We're gonna highlight our purple color solid, go to position X and drag that all the way. Slightly past the last note, slightly past it. All right, now this is gonna put it not at the very end, so how you're gonna adjust where that was. So we're gonna press Control V. And that brings up our video animation. We gotta switch this to transform position. And there's our two keyframes. And I'm gonna want this one at the very end. Now in most video editing software, that's all you would have to do. But Final Cut is a little bit extra. So let's just see what this looks like here. Yeah, that did not follow it in time at all. And that's because you're a noob and you don't know what you're doing. All of us pros know that Final Cut's default animation is set to smooth, but that's not what we want right here, okay? We need sharp, precise, and clean animation. So the way we fix that is we go to uh, this box, click on transform, and then we click our purple color solid to bring up the animation. So we're going to right click on the beginning point, switch that to linear. Then we're gonna click on the end point and switch that to linear. Now let's see what this looks like. Okay, that was closer, all right, it was closer. But we can get really detailed and nitpicky with this, so let's find where the downbeat of the second bar is. So we got da go don go don go don go don So this needs to be right on this note, so we're going to adjust this X and it will add another point on there. And then once again, we gotta right click it and put it to linear. Then let's find the downbeat of the third measure. Da, take it, go, go, dum. Okay, let's see what this looks like now. Yeah, there we go, all right, much better. Okay, so then I'm just gonna copy and paste this exact same thing into the next line. We're gonna want it to start scrolling right away, so we're just gonna delete all this beginning up to the first point. And let's also delete these points in the middle because they are not going to be in the right place because this is a different line of music. Okay, and we're gonna bring this last point to where it cuts off right there. Okay, I was good until the last measure. Let's try to clean that up a little bit. Uh, let's get that buzz right in time. We're gonna move this over. All right, good. Okay, now I'm gonna show you what the final product looks like, but I did the scrolling cursor for the first half and no scrolling cursor for the second half. So compose down in the comments which way you prefer, and that's the way I'm gonna edit the next video.
Okay, so that's the end of this tutorial. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, make sure that you click that subscribe button, ring that liberty bell, and click that like button. And also consider buying a custom t-shirt such as this one. I will leave that link in the description. And have a good morning.